All right, your project is coming right along with your favorite destination. So now it's time to go to Google Earth and let's see if we can find your favorite destination from above. So what I'm first going to do is minimize. So with the icon, it looks like a uh, minus sign, minimize. Go into Student Applications folder and find Google Earth. It's right here. Now if you get to Google Earth another way, that's perfectly fine. I just showed you one way that's easy to get there from the lab. I'm going to maximize and in the upper left hand corner there's a search screen. So I'm going to type in my destination. The name of my hotel chain was Rue, R-I-U, Costa Rica. And you can either press enter or click the search. And from what I remember this is the exact location. So I'm going to click this one. And Google Earth will zoom right in to my hotel. Sometimes you might have to search around just a little bit and try a few different ones. I'm going to close out of this window. And I don't like all of these labels here. So if I X out right over here, that will close out of all the other labels. And turns out this is perfect. This is my actual hotel room or hotel. Um, we have the pools over here, then the ocean out in front. So I can use my mouse and navigate and drag it around, left, right, up and down. I also have some controls over here on the right. I have my plus and my minus. So zoom in, zoom out. I have this panning tool, which allows you to go left, right, up and down. And then I have my compass over here that allows me to drag around and change the direction of north so I can rotate my picture a little bit. So I think I'm happy with this picture. So what I'm going to do is screen capture it or use the, screen, the print screen button on my keyboard. So two keys above the delete key on your keyboard, it says print screen. I'm going to press that. You don't see anything happen, but what happened on the computer is it saved a picture of this whole screen right on the clipboard of the computer. So now I'm going to minimize again. I'm going to go back to my Google Chrome window and I'm going to take my mouse and right click and go to paste. It'll take a few seconds. It's going to transfer the picture from Google Earth, the screenshot, and put it onto my page. Sometimes it will pop it down to a second page if it's too large and that's what happened in my case. So what I'm going to do right now is use one other skill called cropping. I don't want all of the borders around my picture. So I'm going to crop those out or cut them out. So I click on my picture. I'm going to click up here. This is my, my crop tool. I'm going to drag in from the side, drag down from the top. Oops, it just moved on me again. That's no problem. So here's my picture still. I'm going to drag in from the right and drag in a little down from the bottom. I'm done cropping, so I'm going to click my crop tool again and that will finalize my changes. And there's my picture. If I try to move my picture around right now with my mouse, not going to happen because it's set to in line with text. So I don't want that. I'm going to choose wrap text. And this will allow me to move it around. And here it will show you how powerful this tool is, or this feature. If I move it up here, see how the text, the text automatically wraps around the picture, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to put my picture down here at the bottom, though. That's where I'll keep it. And then if you wanted additional pictures, you're welcome to go back to uh, Minimize, go back to Google Earth, and take some more snapshots. And use that print screen button and simply paste it onto your document. So good luck. Get some pictures and add up, add them to your cool looking document.